Hey there, Newton Dev here. This time I'm going to show you a simple way of applying a save function for your game. So this is our little demo. We have these two buttons here that adds and subtract the health point for our little warrior. The save and load button doesn't have any function yet. So this we will add here. The assets I've used here are in the description below. You can check it out. So let's add the function. First things first, we will add the save path. So this is where the our save config file will be created. So if you are exporting this for desktop, Apple, Linux, or web, you you should replace it with user instead of res because res just creates it in the Godot project folder. Then an instantiation of the config file. Next, I've created a signal for the load and save button here as you can see now we will add the save function so we will type config that set value this will be our uh, if I may show you the string section key and the value of the object so our section is the player stats the level of the player and the value is our current level. So our current level is the one we are displaying in the label. So next we will add the load function. So for oh, uh, after create setting the value, you need to save it to the save path. So you can create multiple instances of saving the, of setting the value before you save. So all of it will be saved. So for loading. We will config that load the save the path of the save file again. Then we will put it in our float, the current level. So we cannot place it directly because config that get value will return a Godot object. So getting the value will you, you will use the player stats again, the level, and for its third parameter. It's the default value if it is null. So we will add, we will place zero here. So convert to single converts this Godot object to a float so we can put it in our variable. So let's save it and let's check out the game. So let's add. We put, we'll put it in 10. So save. So in theory, when we load the game, ah, when we press the load button, it will return to z to 10, because we save it at that point. It at that point, right? So load. So there we have it at 10. So I'll show you the config file. So this is our folder. So Godot has created this save config file. So if we open it, you will see here our player stats and level. So the level is 10. So let's try to replace it with 16. So save. So when we get back at it, uh, reload, now it's 16. So that's a simple way of creating a save function for your game using config file. So I hope you like it and it's help, it helps you with your project. So if it do, please press like and subscribe if you have a chance. And comment down below if you comment down below if you want to learn something new or uh, I'll try to make it. So there you go. Cheers and have a good day.